Yeah, it's it's that time of the month where I, time of the week actually, where I had to collect all of my ammo that I had shot outdoors and rinse it off. So this is the first review I've ever done that to just slam another product. I thought the only reviews I would do would be to talk about the stuff that I've found that it's that I really like, the needles in the haystack. This is a needle in the haystack on the opposite side in that this ammo is, when I say it's literally worthless, it's garbage, it's dangerous for your weapon, I mean that 100%. So I tried to save a few bucks. I saw these knockoffs. These are HP 68 knockoffs. We all know what those are. We all love Grimberg. Found these on riotballs.com. Bought these before I was educated about the story of how they stole uh, the mold from Kurt. And uh, that just made me even a little bit more bitter after making the purchase. I made a 500 round purchase. I sent them all through a handful of different weapons. And then I collected them all and I rinsed them off and I set them on paper towel to dry. And the next day, this is what I have in every single round. That's not just moisture, that is goopy rust. Not just rust water, it's goop. They're, I don't know if they secure those bearings in there with glue, but all it took was one rinse. I set them all down like that to get the paper towel to absorb the, absorb the moisture, and then I knocked them all over like that to air out overnight. They did not. The water, it, it doesn't wanna come out of there, but when it does, if I tap really hard, there, it, there's like goopy shit in there. It's like goopy, it's sticky. I have no, I mean, it's almost like there's wet glue in there now. So if I want to really clean these rounds, I have to Q-tip every single round. And that's just, that's just the beginning, that you, the first time you wash these rounds and set them out to dry, rusty goop settles and develops behind the bearing. That's just the beginning. That's the rounds that actually survived. A lot of the rounds look like these, and I'm shooting at a soft target here, okay? A good, I don't know, probably 50 to 100 rounds look like this after you shoot them, the bearing comes loose. So I guess they are using glue, and it must not be good glue. And then they still rust immediately when you try and rinse them off. Um, a couple of these rounds, these are eight, these are real right here, or most of them are HP 68s. A couple of these rounds, ex they fucking shattered leaving the barrel of my gun. I kid you not. I've never had that happen with any kind of ammo. They shattered upon leaving the barrel of my gun. That is dangerous. And so I am, these are shockingly awful surprisingly bad i'll admit i was like well maybe they're, they're not going to be as accurate maybe they won't have the consistency and the advertised weight forget about that doesn't matter they develop goopy rust they shatter upon leaving the barrel and if they do successfully leave the barrel without shattering good luck there's another one Good luck ever hitting a target with one of these or having decent grouping because they freaking go everywhere when they leave the barrel. Everywhere. It's absolute garbage. So I'm collecting them all here. There's another one. I'm going to write. There's another one. It's like every five rounds they're ruined. These are not reusable rounds, not by a damn sight. So I'm going to contact Riot Balls and, and inform them of my experience of the very first purchase I ever made from them, from their company. Let them know that I'd like to return all of this garbage, worthless ammunition that is indeed not reusable. Um, because I risk injuring myself or damaging my gun by using it. Um, considering it shatters upon leaving the barrel and it develops goopy rust 
inside of it. Once you rinse it off, I don't want that shit in my magazines going through my guns. It's disgusting. And I don't have time to Q-tip 500 rounds in the hopes that I don't injure myself or damage my gun when it leaves my barrel. This was $200 down the drain. If I had spent $250, I could have gotten 500 HP 68s that I'd be completely thrilled with right now instead of got this fucking garbage. I'm so pissed right now. If they don't allow me to return these for a refund, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a charge. I'm gonna send them back anyway and do a charge back on my credit card because this is absolutely ridiculous. There's a real HP 68, a real one. Holy moly. I wish, I wish before I made this purchase, I had asked anyone what they think. I wish I had seen the Grimberg story that he, that Kurt posted. I'm just so disgusted right now with this company and this ammo. How you could sell this shit and sleep at night is beyond me. And I have no idea how I have never heard of this company or like, or, I mean, heard of the company, how I have not heard of how bad this ammo is. Like, that, that no one else has said, hey, heads up, this stuff absolutely sucks and is worthless. My God, it would have saved me some time and money. Garbage.